What's a passing game coordinator? What do they do? It's a good question. <laughs> I used to make fun of those titles. Uh, still do to a certain extent. Um, it depends, right? Like, so there's no locked in kind of cookie cutter job description. I think oftentimes uh, these job descriptions are for a handful of different reasons, right? One of them is uh, it really is. They coordinate the passing game. They're in charge of the passing game. That means, you know, probably spend, they probably focus on third down, red zone passes, any sort of, of uh, throwing specific down and distance is probably really important to the passing game coordinator. They're probably a former quarterback coach, wide receiver coach. But to me, the title game is uh, is always about, it's about two things really. One, it's about keeping someone on staff. So someone who wants to be a coordinator, offensive coordinator, play caller on the trajectory of a head coach. It's better than being, you know, the running backs coach, the quarterbacks coach, the wide receiver coach, the offensive line coach. So you can give them a in-name promotion like that passing game coordinator. The other thing is if you have two people that are probably deserving of the coordinator position on a staff, you'll often see staffs be one passing game coordinator, one run game coordinator. The real coordinator is whoever calls the plays. Uh, sometimes they'll do it in tandem. It's pretty rare, but uh, a lot of it can go into the, who has the focus on the game plan, who's installing you know, to the team. Is, the, is, this, is this coach installing the run plays? Is this coach installing the pass plays? And kind of go from there how the plays are built during the week and the preparation so it can be any of those things it's really up to the you know coaches and management to use the titles to their best advantage you can pay someone a little bit more maybe you can keep someone staff a little bit longer you can keep them on a upward trajectory as opposed to being locked in as the, you know the quality control to the analyst to the position coach you know you see a lot of offensive coaches go from like the assistant the quality control tight ends coach you know, wide receiver coach, quarterback coach, you know, offensive coordinator, head coach is probably the fast trajectory. But a way to manipulate that is, you know, if you got maybe two or three people that are qualified to be the quarterback's coach, you can have one be the coordinator, one be the passing game coordinator, one be the quarterback's coach. And they all really kind of do the similar things. But it's a it's a way to promote people kind of without really promoting them. I'm sure many of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about when I when I say that type of stuff in whatever line of work y'all work in, but that's how it hits me. It is a funny thing in, in you know, I think titles in most industries uh, don't always capture exactly what's going on, but it is a nice way to kind of manipulate the system to be able to massage someone's ego a little bit. Use the coupon code DQB school and get $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. Again, thanks for supporting the show. Code, the QB school. Hopefully the quarterback, uh, the passing game coordinator thing made sense to y'all. If it didn't, I'll, maybe I'll come back to it at some point.